she's doing such a huge pivot from what she used to do. She was all about like family and now she made this huge pivot toward Charlie XEO. Yeah, Hyperpop and Spring Breakers. That's such a good way to describe her branding right now. She definitely gives off like that Spring Breakers vibe. Especially her profile picture right now. It's her in that like ski mask. I'm looking at her Instagram. She's in her dirty blonde, icy blue, silver chrome face. I think what I find interesting about her right now, all of her marketing is very social media based. I don't necessarily see too many television appearances. Like she did Jimmy Fallon, but other than that, I haven't seen her do many huge performances quite yet. She took it to the streets. She went to a park, but what was the situation with the park? Apparently she had a venue reserved for, I think some sort of performance with fans. I think their reasoning was there were too many people that they weren't able to host because it would be over capacity and I think a fire hazard. So they took it to a park and she did kind of like an impromptu performance. But what I think she's doing is all of these random appearances are for social media content. She's really heavy on social media right now. She's trying to trend like mm -hmm. every day for it. She's putting in work, I will say. She's like nonstop about it. Is she tired? She has to be tired. The music that she's putting out is more on the wild side. Her lyrics are really out there. Rumored to have a collab with Drake. She just dropped something with Lil Nas X. She has one with JT and Young Miami, Playboy Cardi. Oh, she has two with Drake. As of right now, I just don't know what she's giving. How did she land Drake like that? Well, they were rumored to be dating or yeah. not dating, but they had a little uh, vacation and it was supposed to be low key, but they were on a yacht. I don't know what <laughs> how low key that was. I'm actually surprised that Lana Del Rey is not on that album because she did a public performance at Coachella. <laughs> <laughs> And Lana Del Rey brought out Camila Cabello to perform I Love It. <laughs> and when I tell you that clip of Lana Del Rey singing I Love It to Camila, like there's no track that she's- Was it Lana's set or Camila's set? It was Lana's set and she invited Camila to come out to like kind of finish it out. And they chose that song to sing it that way. But they're label mates, they're on the same record label. I think that's why she brought her out. You know what's funny though? Like just in this era for Camila, I feel like she does kind of mirror Lana because Lana has so many random features too. I think she just did something with Quavo and everyone's like, oh, is she hard launching with Quavo? And I'm like, what? It's just so many unlikely pairings. I'm not mad about it. It's definitely like a little head tilt, like, oh, question mark. Yeah, I will say Lana dips her toes in a lot of different places, especially with Taylor Swift on that one song. I can't remember the name of it, but everyone joked Taylor because Lana's voice was so low in the mix and they bullied them where they actually re-released the song with Lana's vocals way higher. Did she have like an extra part in the song too? Apparently she was singing it the whole time. Mm -hmm. And I saw an interview where Lana says, I can mimic other people's voices very well. It sounds like Taylor Swift is singing, but I'm actually singing it. I actually don't believe that though. 